So today I'm sitting here in front of a monastery that has been a site for religious worship since the 7th century. So the legend goes, so before this, the church came, one of the churches, this is not the original church, but in the 7th century when churches were erected, this they, they were erected on the, the site of an old oak tree. The oak tree represented, they, where they, the people came to, to worship, represented prosperity and fertility. However, when Christianity took over, they cut down the oak tree and they built a church. This is in the seventh century. Georgia has been invaded and reinvaded and taken over multiple times. The church has changed and this is not the original church. Yeah, so in the seventh century, the first church was built. However, despite invasions and wars, the church went into dis to like was just basically destroyed and needed to be repaired. So in the 11th century, the church was reconstruction, reconstructed by the order of King George II and became much larger. Then a chapel in the church of the Mystere Chikvana and a small scriptorium was also built. Really interesting how, how long it's been here and it's really interesting that, I don't know, I find it really interesting that here in Georgia, this is not the first place that they had pagan rituals because before Christianity took over here, it was pagan. They worshiped, I mean, I think that's almost all religions. Everyone worshiped in their own way. However, I think paganism went out of, out of vogue because the sacrifices, they were killing, they were sacrificing infants. Here, the legend is that they were sacrificing babies for, <laughs> I don't, it doesn't make sense fertility so let's sacrifice the baby anyways um, that was their time that's what they felt they believed in until Christianity took over and Georgia was the second country to adapt Christianity as a whole as a whole country and the other place I went to that had a church that was built at an old site of a pagan ritual was in Uchuli where I believe they worshiped the moon and they also did pagan sacrifices there as well so yeah that stopped obviously I mean we don't really do sacrifices anymore but modern day not modern day religion but yeah modern day Christianity kind of took over a lot of these places and now they have become sites of monasteries or churches but like old like seventh century I mean I can't even like fathom how how long ago that was and yeah and because Georgia was like invaded so so many times that they've had to be repaired but yet yeah, now we have what we have now and they actually still have service there's a service going on right now and there are people in there it's not like a typical normal service where people are sitting down listening they're in there chanting and they're singing and the women have their head covered i think they have skirts below their knees i didn't go in because i have shorts on i just kind of stood at the door and watched but there is a priest in there full like robe he has like a hat on yellow clothing completely covered as well so yeah it's kind of interesting i don't know i think religions are interesting all over the world because how mainly because how they have evolved from what they once were and I don't know I don't I think you can worship in any way you choose I mean I don't think you should be doing sacrifices and killing people which that I don't agree with but I think it's okay to worship whatever you feel called to and do you have to do it in the church no you don't have to do it in the church if you want to do it in front of a tree you can do it in front of a tree it's your own personal beliefs so but I do find it very interesting to go to places of worship because I find it interesting how people do choose and how history has influenced what happens in these countries. So yeah, so, and this is a wine, there's a winery here too. I don't know where it's at. Maybe I can find it, but we'll go walk around. It is really cool and beautiful. I can imagine if that old oak tree was still here, how big it would be. Oh my God, from the seventh century, it'd be huge because I'm actually sitting in front of a tree. I don't think it's an oak tree. Maybe it's like poplar or something, but yeah, this tree is beautiful. And you can hear the wind, so. So basically the monastery is at like the very top of the hill and that's where the old oak tree would have been on the very top of the hill and it overlooks the entire valley and yeah it's really it's really peaceful and serene up here actually so I see why people come up here 
I don't know. I think any spot where people pray, no matter where, there's always like the energy is much different. I mean, people are praying and asking and for forgiveness or asking for things or giving gratitude. So these areas are always seem to be very chill for me. And it's cooler because it's been really hot here. <laughs> I mean, just to imagine how cold crazy and that they still are worshiping here and they still hold service. It's just so cool. Something Georgia is so interesting that they like hold their cultural values. Pretty sure you're not supposed to go up there, so I won't. It's so cold, it's on the side of the cliff. But yeah, and like the detail on these buildings. I'm, I mean, this is, I has to be, this is like from the 11th century. And then it's still standing. I mean, I'm sure they've like done upkeep, but I mean, look at this. This is crazy. the beauty here. Anyways, all right. Oh, singing nettle is all over Georgia also. I'm going to go walk back and try not to die from being so freaking hot here. So thank you so much for tuning in. I will see y'all soon. Bye.